What's that, horror block? You want me to open you? Hi guys, welcome back to the Bat Cave. I'm your host, Lady Hellbat, and it's unboxing time. It's past unboxing time. As usual, I am super late to this. I discovered that my horror blocks were going to the wrong address. So hopefully this doesn't happen again, but I'm not making any promises. Let's just get her done. Now the boxes are white this month. I should mention, I don't know if it's a special Halloween edition box, but the boxes are white, whereas they're usually black, and it opens a bit differently, so let's see why. All right, for starters, I've got the shirt. <laughs> this is amazing. Haddonfield High Horror. And it's got Michael Myers. And it looks like a collegiate shirt, which is so funny. If you saw the announcement for our, my 1,000 subscriber video, the Faculty of Horror just made shirts just like this. We totally used this font to be like class of 2016. So this is so funny. This is cool. I like what they did with, uh, with his face. He kind of looks, like, looks like the Ottawa Senators logo. And uh, I don't give a shit about hockey at all, but I am from Ottawa, so little bit of credit where it's due. Cool, man. Next is my DVD, Demonic Toys. They want to play with you. I have never heard of this film. Let's see. They're cute and cuddly by day, lethal demons by night, ruthless killing machines, la la la. Judith Gray, the kid, Daniel Cherney, baby oopsie daisy, what the fuck? Full moon features. There you go. That explains a lot, doesn't it? This is probably not a winner, but I have condemned random DVDs out of the horror block before, and people have commented, hey, that's actually a pretty good movie. So if you've seen this, let me know. Otherwise, um, I'm going to put it over here. Uh oh. <gasps> it's a Walking Dead journal. This is pretty amazing. First of all, very timely. Uh, I'm sure you're all watching Walking Dead. I'm sure if you're watching my channel, if you're into horror at all, if you give so much as a shit about the horror genre, you have at least a passing interest in The Walking Dead. So the new season's just started. We're about two or three episodes in now, and uh, 2016 is winding down. I'm gonna have to buy a journal pretty soon. Ruled journal with pocket, 192 pages. See, the thing is, I'm actually really picky about my journals. Like, I've got a lot going on in my life and I have to keep everything written down and really organized. And when it comes to planners, I like it to have the full month view and then the weekly view and then the day-to-day -day view, but it's gotta have like a lot of room for notes and I like to doodle and all that, so. I'm gonna crack this open and check it out, but it's a pretty cool item, horror block. I like how it's got the elastic built in to keep it shut. It's a nice hardcover. It's got uh, Rick Grimes with some zombies. Unfortunately, not looking very dreamy in that particular shot, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, this is a money clip. A Ouija money clip. I'm not sure how I would use this. Obviously, I don't use a money clip. Maybe it's not obvious. Maybe that's just kind of a, a gender bias assumption thing, but money clips are kind of for people who don't carry around wallets and just have their cash on them or something. What could I do with this? Where could I clip this to something? It's really nice. It's a nice enamel, soft enamel filled design. That's very pretty. I just don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe one of you fellas in my life will find this in your stocking for the upcoming holidays. This is a Dexter syringe pen that I can use with my Walking Dead notebook. Ha, ah, that's fun. I wonder what color it is. I hope it's red. 
Oh, this is neat. I guess this is maybe an ongoing thing with Horror Block, is they're going to have a, uh, a signed bit of artwork. But this is a uh, picture of Pinhead signed by Doug Bradley. I got to meet Doug Bradley at a Festival of Fear many years ago. I think it was one of the first Festival of Fears I went to with Rue Morgue. And I specifically remember Doug Bradley was so cool. He was so down to earth and mellow. And people were asking him, like, what's it like to be only remembered for this role? You know, like, this is kind of your big role and it's the role everyone's going to associate with you with. And he said, you know what? I'm an actor and I'm working. And for people to know me at all is a blessing. I was like, yeah, cool, man. He's a cool guy, and I'm happy to have this. That's nice. Now I've got my cards. I'm going to save these for the end to look at, because first I have to look at the one item I'm always expecting, the November issue of Room Work Magazine has... I am the pretty thing that lives in the house on the cover, which is Oz Perkins' new ghost story. That's Anthony Perkins' son for all you psycho fans out there. And yeah, what else is in here? We've got a piece on The Damned, the original horror punk band who just turned 40. Apparently there's a new documentary out on them that I haven't checked out yet. Siren is a spin-off of the VHS movie. Do you remember the VHS movie? It was like an anthology film and it was kind of... I don't know, what I remember about it was that everybody was so unlikable. It was like an asshole convention. It was just horror movies happening to assholes in this movie, and particularly in the first short, which is about these douchebags who go out and pick up a chick named Lily, and she's pretty weird, so they think they're gonna have a really good time with her back in their hotel room, and she turns into a monster, and her face splits in half, and she eats them all, and it's wonderful. Anyway, she's getting her own movie, that's Siren, that's in this issue of Rue Morgue, and much, much more, so yeah. All right, well, it looks like I've reached the bottom of the box, so maybe let's take a look at these cards now. If I didn't already mention, Horror Block is obviously a monthly service where they deliver a shoebox full of awesome horror stuff right to your doorstep. If you'd like to sign up, I'll put a link in the comments box below. And honestly, I'm always complaining that I'm getting these late. It wasn't their fault. They had the wrong address. I ain't mad about them. Exclusive Halloween t-shirt. Cool. Demonic Toys DVD. These toys just want to play with you. Doug Bradley autograph is an exclusive. The Dexter syringe pen. The Ouija money clip. And Room Work 172. Now, next month's horror block will include a terrifyingly exclusive item from Gremlins. That's really funny because, um, well, there's a coincidence in there somewhere and I'm not supposed to tell you, so just, just, there's a coincidence. Also featuring festively gruesome items from Krampus and Freddy vs. Jason. Whoa, that's kind of um, conflicting feelings anonymous right here. I, uh, I checked out Krampus last year with Alex West, actually, and another friend, and we love Trick or Treat. We love Trick or Treat so hard that we were really excited for Krampus, and we saw it, and we were like, oh, that wasn't good. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason, I saw it a really long time ago, and I kind of forgot about it until I was talking to a friend recently who saw it recently and Kelly Rowland is in it from Destiny's Child and apparently she's having a huge face-off with Jason or or Freddy, I actually don't remember which, but she's having a big like sass attack where she's telling one of them off and drops a pretty sweet F-bomb and I'm not referring to the F-word, I'm referring to the F-bomb like the one that's not cool to say. And I was like, really? Freddy versus Jason? That's, uh, that's surprising. But anyway, none of that has to do with what these items might be. They could be really cool. God knows I've gotten stuff in the horror block that I haven't really been stoked on the franchise, but I liked the item. So stranger things have happened. This is really cool though. I'm gonna like open this right away and see what's up because I like me a journal. And on the back, it's 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 got Rick's County Sheriff badge embossed. I don't know if you can see that. I wonder if I could switch out this picture. Switch it out for a uh, picture of Negan, you know what I'm saying. 
So that's it for this edition of the Bat Cave, guys. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time at the Bat Cave, give me a subscribe so I can see you again, because I've got a lot of good stuff coming up. We'll see you then. Bye.